Hello everyone, I came back with one more video tutorial on Power Automate. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to save Microsoft Forms details to the SharePoint list using the Power Automate. I will also show you how to add multiple choice values that are coming from the Microsoft Form to the SharePoint list choice values as well as how to get the file from Microsoft Form and add it as an attachment to the SharePoint list. These two things we will cover in this video. So this is my Microsoft form where I have designed it, uh, where it contains the fields like employee name, employee ID, empo employee email address, employee email address, leave type, where we can select the multiple values in the leave type and employee leave description, start date and end date, attach certificate. These were the fields that we that I have taken in the leave approval form. To store this details, I have created one more share. I have created the SharePoint list as well. I will also show you that list uh, where it has the columns like employee name, employee ID, employee email address, leave type, leave description, start date, end date, attachments. If you are directly taking the choice values from the Microsoft form to the SharePoint list, it will store in the form of an array, not like an individual value types. For that, we have to use the select option as a JSON. I will show you in the flow how we can do that. Let me go back to the Power Automate flow. Log in to the Power Automate by typing make.powerautomate.com in the browser so that it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage. I have created a uh, automated cloud flow where when a user submits a request to the Microsoft form, based on the submission of leave request. Uh, when a new response is submitted to the form, I have taken the form ID in the parameter as select the form. My form is a leave approval form, so I have selected it. Add another action that is get response details. We have to get the details from submitted leave request. So I have added this action and take the form ID that is leave approval form and from the dynamic content, take the response ID. You can get the dynamic content by clicking on this option or by also typing slash in the response ID. As you can see, this is the dynamic content response ID. Take the response ID, it will add here. As I have already taken, I will cancel it. I have taken a create item action in the create item action, I have uh, along with all the advanced parameters that is employee name, employee ID, employee email address, leave description, start date and end date along with the leave type value, leave type. It is showing the array because it is a multiple choice value. So it is showing in the form of an array. We have to input the array in it. So to take the choice values individually, we have to add one more action that is select. I have taken the compose action where I was storing the leave type value and in the select take array from parameter as JSON and from the dynamic content you can take the compose outputs add and in the value of key value take value and in the value section take item like this from the function click on add now save the flow then in the create item section we have we wanted to take the select leave type from the advanced parameter in the leave type section we have to give the outputs of select make it switch to input entire array and in the entire enter an array from the dynamic content take the outputs of select save the flow now it will add the multiple choice values to the sharepoint list now i will show you the step to add attachments to the SharePoint list. 
Now let's see how to add the file content to the SharePoint list attachment by following these simple steps. Let's take one more compose action for the attachment here. I was giving it as a name for the file. I was renaming it as a compose file because we were taking the dynamic content of JSON. JS take JSON and the dynamic content of file from the dynamic content of file from the Microsoft Forms response attachment uh, where the attachment is present attach certificate click on add then in the next step add apply to each select apply to each and in the in we have to select the output from the previous steps here click on the dynamic content and add the outputs of inside to the apply to each loop take get file content get file content of OneDrive because the files will be saved in the OneDrive so we need to get that file and add it as an attachment to the SharePoint list to get that file content in the file we have to give the ID of that saved file take item action question mark and within the brackets in the single course select id by the id it will retrieve the file content from the onedrive click on add and then add an attachment add attachment select add attachment action select the site address site address list name list name and we can get the id from create item create item id file name we can provide it from the function item question mark within brackets single quotes provide name it will retrieve the name and file content we can get it from the get file content of previous action that is from the OneDrive get file content now save the flow it will take a few seconds to save the flow and I wanted to share with you one thing that is our company will be providing power platform solutions if you are interested or if you have any requirement do contact us you can also see the power platform solutions here these were based on SharePoint SPFX power apps power automate etc and these were the recent products that we have developed in power platform you can go here to the page and you can download the solution it will automatically download it to your environment or else if you have any query you can also contact us to our official mail we will provide the immediate help for you I will also provide this page link in the video description so that you can go and have a look at it. Let's move back to our Power Automate flow. Now the flow has been saved. As you can see the flow has been saved. Now let's test it by manually by filling the data. Let's provide the details. Select the leaf types. I have selected three leaf types here and description as testing. Leave start date. Leave end date and uploading the file. Upload file. Click on submit. The response has been submitted. Uh, as you can see here the flow ran successfully and it has been added attachment as well let's go back to the SharePoint list uh, you can see the item that we have been created is saved to the SharePoint list with the individual choice values along with the attachment if you wanted to open the attachment 
edit you can see the attachment has been added this is the attachment that we have selected so this is how to save the microsoft forms detail to the sharepoint list column values using the power automate let's meet in the another video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you